All right. In yesterday's video, we took and twisted up two plastic grocery shopping bags, and we used this maple bow drill set and got an ember. And at the end of that video, you remember the comment I made? I said, I dare say that you could get another ember out of this bowstring. That's what we're here this morning to do. Let's prove that. Let's get a double wrap on this spindle and give it a try. Ah, the cordage has lengthened, so let's go through the hands and then take the slack up right here like that. Let's see if that'll work better. First thing we have to do is tighten up on it. Now, let's see if we can finish this thing. Bad time for the wind to start kicking up. This time I'm going to protect that with the catkins. Protect it from the wind. Got it to produce again. Boy, that highly degraded maple set is a great one, isn't it? I wish you could feel how hard the wind is blowing right now. But the catkins are protecting the ember. And we use that divot right there. Now let the wind blow all it wants to.
All right, y'all. I thought it could produce for us one more time. Just your plain, standard, humble plastic grocery bags. All those, these came from the uh, dollar store. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. We'll go ahead and put that. We made a pine bow yesterday too. Let's put this on there. We'll catch you on the next one. All of my oaks at the house, the white oaks and the red oaks, have already cast off, long since cast off their catkins. So it was interesting for me to walk up on this oak, but I did not know what the name of it was. So I used my new uh, ID app. It's called Picture This. I think, I think I'm paying $40 a year for it. And it says that this is the burr oak. Look at how interesting that is.